Welcome to my channel, Tools for Ascension by Wolfgang and I, Wolfgang, and my gift to you today is this guided meditation where we will be dealing with the root cause of your depression from this and other past lifetimes. Depression is such a vast and complicated issue, you know, with so many different possible root causes many of them are overlapping, you know, that I have been avoiding, you know, making a guided meditation until now. So, um, you know, for the guided meditation only, if you only want to do this, you know, you may jump ahead, you know, to this time. But uh, first, I will cover some important concepts around depression, you know, the theory of depression, also a personal testimony, you know, and also a list, you know, of quick fixes, you know, they may help you to snap out out of a light depression. You know, sometimes this can be a lifesaver. So in the guided meditation, we will be looking, you know, for the root cause of your depression, you know, on a deeper level, you know. And uh, I advise you, you know, to listen to it many times. You know, to get a good idea of where your root causes for the depression are. You know, you may have to deal with them in, you know, in a separate guided meditation, for instance. Like, I have a guided meditation, you know, for your broken heart. You know, or maybe to fix your mommy issues or your daddy issues, you know, or to clear um, financial karma, you know, um, prosperity meditation. So, um, but let's just uh, go to the definition, you know, what is depression? And it's a set of feelings, you know, and a set of thoughts. I mean, they're always, you know, connected, I would say, of the lower survival mind, you know, that is activated by frowning. I mean, uh, you know, anything that frowns like this is in this lower survival mind, you know. Um, also, um, depression is characterized, you know, by a lack of uh, breathing, you know, shallow breath. And, of course, you know, this leads to low energy levels. You know? And a lot of, um, you know, I mean, who comes first, you know, the low energy level or the depression? Well, you know, if they are um, correlated, you know, one can affect the other. So, um, you know. And of course, people with a depressed mood, you know, can feel sad, you know, or anxious, or empty, hopeless, helpless, worthless, you know, guilty, irritable, ashamed, or restless. These are all qualities of your lower mind, you know, the survival mind, let's call this. And, you know, when you're really depressed, uh, you may lose interest in activities that were, you know, once pleasurable. And, you know, we all knew that um, daddy was in trouble when he stopped uh, drinking. <laughs> mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, we may experience, you know, overeating or on the other extreme, you know, loss of appetite or have problems concentrating, I would say that is lack of energy and a lot of conflicting thoughts. You know, remembering details, yeah, definitely lack of energy, you know, or making decisions, again, lack of energy. And uh, you may, um, you know, contemplate or, you know, attempt to commit suicide, you know, trying to get out of this situation. And uh, many of them have insomnia, you know, which, of course, leads to lack of energy. Or you just want to sleep your life away, you know, don't want to face the world. Excess is sleeping, you know. And, of course, this um, low energy, um, negative thinking um, mindset, you know, causes fatigue, you know, aches, pains. You know, your body response and emotions, you know, are reflected in your tummy area. So you have probably then also digestive problems, you know, especially when you overeat. And, um, you know, yeah, of course, again, you know, uh, low energy. And so a lot of this, you know, comes from maybe adversity in childhood. 
You know, uh, most psychologists agree that in the first seven years of your life, much of your programming, you know, is done on a deep level. So, I mean, you know, there's those things, you know, what are those that we came across? You know, love, you know, such as sometimes, you know, bereavement from a big loss, you know, um, grandma dies, you know, that we left over everything and the whole life changes, you know, or we lose our best friend. And um, this uh, can, you know, cause depression. And of course, as a child, you know, if you neglected, again, no love. Or, um, you know, there were unequal parental treatments, you know, of siblings. Probably you were on the wrong end of this. Mm -hmm. Again, no love, abandonment issues. You know? And then, of course, you know, psychological abuse, like always minimizing, criticizing, you know, and sexual abuse, you know, um, all this, you know, increase, of course, significantly, you know, the likelihood of experiencing you know, a depression in your life, of course, you know, it's pain, you know, this is all, you know, the accumulation of pain and negativity in your force field. Mm -hmm. And for some people, you know, the birth trauma may be the worst pain that they have experienced here. You know? And it's a kind of an unconscious pain. It's there, but you're not aware of it. It's there in your subtle body, uh, but I'll talk about that later. So, you know, pain body, you know, um, Edgar Toller talks a lot about this, and, you know, these concepts are kind of a right on. You know? And so, again, you know, life events, you know, and uh, that really, you know, cause a lot of depression, you know, first of all, is caused by childbirth. And it's actually not the birth itself, it's the postpartum depression. You know, when the mother has a child in her, this extra life force, the joy, the love, you know, that's kind of a high, you know, having two souls kind of a little bit connecting and when this kid is gone you know there is a hormonal kind of withdrawal and depression yeah my mom got um, electroshocked for that in germany yep <laughs> and then uh, other hormonal changes like menopause you know or even like pms you know where um, you know women connect into the collective pain of femalehood you know from themselves from their ancestors and then womanhood general. And then there's, of course, you know, very obvious external reasons. You know, I mean, bad physical hygiene. Um, you know, if you have a, a lot of toxin and smelling and, you know, you um, didn't brush your teeth for, uh, you know, for some time, and these toxins, you know, and, uh, you know, they're going to affect you. Um, it's the opposite of aesthetic and nice smelling. And then there's other things like financial difficulties, of course, and job problems. You know, this is all um, survival mind, you know, lower mind. Uh, a medical diagnosis, you know, about cancer, HIV, you know, and other things um, that are unpleasant. Of course, they bring you down. Again, it puts you into your survival mind in fear, you know, but then also, you know, um, being bullied, you know, and again, losing loved ones. Also, natural disaster, you know, or, uh, yeah, you know, of course, you know, your whole life can get destroyed, you know, or wars. You know, I mean, we know what is going on. You know, there are a lot of people whose life, if they still have one, you know, is completely <laughs> changed for the worse, we might say. You know, but there's also, like, um, social isolation. You know, due to being traumatized in social situation. And of course, this all leads, you know, to relationship troubles. You know, I mean, who wants to be around, you know, somebody that's always depressed? You know, um, you become depressed yourself. And, uh, you know, also, yeah, people are sometimes very jealous, you know, or they have you know, catastrophic injuries. I mean, you know, losing an arm, a leg, or disfiguring your face. Yeah, this can definitely, you know, keep you depressed and you blame everything else, you know. This Again, this is all lower mind, you know. 
And of course, you know, we have the puberty seasons. <laughs> You know, it's uh, not just only, you know, hormones and Sturm und Drang and, you know, getting interested in the opposite sex. You know, it's a, a rejection, you know, social rejection, especially nowadays with social media. Um, you know, so this can go bad or being in the wrong click. You know, this can also, you know, lead to, um, you know, getting lost in this trauma. And... <clears throat> Um, again, also in puberty, you know, I find, and, you know, several others, um, quite important people find um, that your birth trauma, you know, surfaces. Um, you know, again, you know, your pain body gets purged. And, um, yeah, you know, I think this pain body, you know, theory or understanding, you know, or simplification, you know, it's definitely, you know, a good theory to explain depression. So, um, you know, there's also, I would say, depression is called, you know, the low energy, you know, may cause also a low chi and life force, you know. <laughs> and, um, you know, which, of course, you know, um, can lead to infectious diseases, you know, also nutritional deficiencies. You know, these are um, all things um, that are coming from the physical plane, you know, or even neurological conditions. You know, there may be something wrong with your dopamine receptors, you know, or production. And then also there are debilitating diseases, you know, that are many times not properly diagnosed, like uh, Lyme disease, you know, big one, big one, very big one. In, in many areas of America, it wasn't even recognized and diagnosed, you know, and just put aside as imagination. <laughs> you know, but there's also like multiple sclerosis, you know, and anything with chronic pain, you know, or stroke, diabetes, cancer, you know, sleep apnea, you know, all these things, even like a disturbed circadian rhythm, you know, um, they can affect your um you know, your depression levels. And also, you know, when your uh, thyroid, you know, is under-functioning, um, you know, or there's an imbalance there, um, you know, this may also, re um, you know, lead to reduced energy levels, you know, and then which um, lead to a reduced life. You know, when you have low chi, low energy, everything seems to be gray. <laughs> you know, you don't see the colors. You don't have energies to do anything. So, um, well, you know, there's, of course, depression has been graded. And let's not go to the low, medium, and high. That would be too simple. You know, so there is the major depressive disorder, also called MDD. So you can earn your MDD here very easily. You know, which is called, <laughs> commonly called a major depression or clinical depression. Clinical depression, I think, is the proper buzzword here. You know, and to qualify for clinical depressions, you know, um, you, it has to last for two weeks, you know, and you have to have, you know, loss or pretty much complete loss, you know, of all activities that normally, you know, bring you joy. It's like, what? You know, Barbie? No porn for a fortnight? Well, you must be clinically depressed, right? So, and then, you know, the more <laughs> medium depression is called, you know, dysthemia. You know, I would call this melancholy. <laughs> you know, a state of kind of chronic depressed mood, you know, and of course it doesn't have the severity. You know, another variation is, of course, the bipolar disorder you know? and um, you know which you know leads to kind of abnormally elevated moods you know euphoria you could say you know with higher cognition you know and high energy level you are all over the place then I mean I've been there and uh, then you know it you go down you know into episodes you know of depression and I have to say, you know, generally, the higher you went, you know, the lower you go. 
<laughs> and um, <clears throat> I think it's somehow connected also with the lunar cycle. You know, for me, it was um, definitely, you know, like a clockwork or like the seasons, you know, which is quite sad, you know, when you go down. <laughs> so, um, now, with many people, depression, you know, is also, you know, uh, linked to the seasonal changes. You know, then it's um, called, um, you know, seasonal affective disorder. Yes. Um, you know, because like in spring and in fall, you know, many people, you know, they not only get depressed, they also get sick. And uh, many people die also in this time, you know, very high death rate. And, uh, well, uh, you might blame it on the lack of sunshine, you know, um, due to the colder weather, and uh, which leads to vitamin D3 deficiency, you know, which leads to depression. I mean, lack of sunshine probably leads to a lot more things than depression. You know, but the definitely lack of sunshine affects uh, your immune system. You know, that's why when you're in the holidays and you bathe your body, you know, with um, sun, you know, for 15, 20 minutes a day, you know, you feel pretty good. So personally, I'm not an armchair philosopher with depression. You know, um, I was born to parents with PTSD. You know, my parents were teenagers in World War II as Germans. You know? On top of it, you know, my mom lived in Hanover and they got bombed every night. So they had to spend their nights in a bunker and she had an evil stepmom, super low self-esteem, several suicide attempts. That's my mom. My father got drafted you know, at 17 years from high school, you know, and sent into, you know, the tank battles you know, for Morse code. And yeah, he, um, you know, jumped out of two burning tanks. Of course, he had burns and also got wounded, shot at and wounded. Yet, um, you know, he kicked my mom into the stomach, you know, while she was pregnant with me. And um, yeah, so born into trauma already. And also, um, I was 11 pound, you know, um, 11 pound. You know, um, this, uh, my mom had a narrow hip, so I got stuck in the birth canal for eight hours, and I was blue when I came out. And uh, so, you know, according to um, several um, systems of thought, you know, um, this um, trauma you know, um, surfaces at uh, puberty, uh, which it did with me. Yeah, um, I mean, deep uh, depression and euphoria, the roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And um, two times, you know, it was so bad at night that um, there was a dark vortex in my room. You know, um, you, maybe some of you have been so drunk, you know, that the room starts spinning, you know, and you have to hold on to the bed, you know, fear of not flying away. So that was without alcohol, you know, and I had to just, you know, leave the room and, you know, walk outside in the freezing weather for a while. Until, you know, later on, um, you know, I did uh, rebirthing, you know, according to Leonard Orr or holotropic breathwork, you know, according to Dr. Leonard Orr, you know, the Czechoslovakian psychologist. So, um, you know, I used these kind of um, breath processes on myself and others, you know, and a few times, you know, I breathed for a few hours, you know, by myself. And uh, because I was already used to intense breath work. And this kind of um, sounds like this. You know, after some time, you kind of get into a trance, or I got into a trance, you know, and just kept working it. And of course, if you do breath work like that, um, intense breath work on um, something may happen to you, which may freak you out, which is called tetany. <laughs> you know, so your a mouth starts to stiffen up and you, you know, form a mouth like a chicken butt, you know, or a kiss mouth. 
written, and you can hardly talk like that, and everything kind of cramps up, and also your fingers, you know, they're starting to stiffen up, you know, and uh, you know, sticking together like this, you have cramps. That's why it's called tetany. It's like when you have tetany infection, you know, you also can have this rigor, you know, in your limbs. And then the same thing happens with your feet, you know, your toes kind of curl up and your feet kind of cramp up like that. And um, very unpleasant, kind of, and scary. And, you know, many times um, people, you know, turn back, you know, they get scared from this. Um, if you practice um, rebirthing or holotropic birth, you know, a tip for me is, you know, um, do Tai Chi type of movement, you know, where you try to clear, you know, the Chi, you know, there's a bottleneck of Chi, you know, that um, cannot go out. It's like a traffic jam, you know, the joints, um, there are bottlenecks, you know, Chi cannot flow over very easily through there. And so, when suddenly through this breathwork, you know, more and more chi flows, you know, so you, you know, have an over, you know, over, you have a traffic jam, and then it all, you know, freezes up. So, just increasing and breathing, you know, through those areas consciously, also out of your face, you know, breathe, you know, imagine the chi flowing out, you know, and the same with the feet, you know, will help a lot, so you don't have that. Alright, let's just get to, you know, a philosophical outlook. So, you know, looking at the big picture, you know, when you try to cut out, you know, your past, you know, emotional history by just living in the moment, you know, uh, that will not help, you know, with the emotional garbage that you're still carrying around. You know, so you probably will be triggered <laughs> as soon as you're out of the moment. Right? And even, you know, meditation, you know, will not erase past life trauma unless, you know, to clear the past of its traumas, you know, through higher insight, which leads to genuine forgiveness, you know, as well as gaining, you know, access you know, to love. So the Russian communists, you know, they were right when they said that religion is the opium of the people. Well, you know, as long as your religion inspires your love, you know, and opens your heart, uh, it could be considered, you know, an, your honorable drug dealer, you know, Dr. Feelgood. But let me be very, very clear, you know, love, love. Love is the opium of life. You know? Love takes the pain away. <laughs> you know? Love improves your digestion, you know. And, you know, things start looking prettier, you know, with love. You know, when you are in love or when you project love onto it, you know. And actually, you know, this world, you know, this 3D reality, you know, um, is described, you know, by the Hindus and Buddhists, you know, saints as an ocean of suffering. <laughs> you know, so you need this love, you know, to um, overcome this pain. You know, I mean, you probably all agree, you know, and, uh, you know, that when you have, you know, a lot of love, everything becomes bearable. And you can transcend even, you know, the material world, then, you know, and being in it, you know, but not being of it, you know, and being, you know, you're not trapped in the matrix, you know, this is this modern understanding, and the traditional Hindu understanding is, you're not trapped, trapped in Maya, you know, you're not in Maya, in illusion. So, if from my personal understanding, again, you know, the deep reason for depression is not only pain, you know, it's the pain that disconnects you from your divine self. You know, it's, it disconnects, it stays in between, you know, it distorts it, you know. And so, you know, the part of us, you know, that expands, you know, into the more subtle dimensions. You know? So if you have a lot of pain in, in yourself, you know, as soon as you go into the more subtle dimension, it's like, ugh, you know, you feel all the pain in your heart, in your tummy, 
you know, emotional pain. You know, and then of course you have to go and uh, distract yourself, you know, like media, self-medication, you know, or doctor-assisted medication, like mother's little helper. <clears throat> so, you know, in, when you look at it now in long-term subconscious reasons for depression, you know, there is this theory, of course, you know, old trauma. You know, and for some of you, birth trauma being the worst, you know, ask your mom. Mm -hmm. And that can be again, you know, addressed by um, breath work. You know, so, and um, it doesn't have to be necessary, this type of breath work. But I would say with any, you know, strong, intense breath work, um, you increase the chi flow in your body. And let me take the example of a circuit board. So you take a circuit board and you increase the voltage on the circuit board. And then, you know, the weak spots, you know, in the circuitry, you know, they get hot. You know? So in the same way, when you flush your physical body or your subtle bodies with more love and light, you know, the spots with darkness, you know, they start standing out. You know, so they're really good honing device of finding and then maybe being able to purge, you know, this uh, darkness. And, um, of course, now also from another long-term perspective, you know, in general, whatever type of pain, you know, you are experiencing in this lifetime, you know, is most likely a dim reflection of what happened in the past. Tip of the iceberg, so to say. For um, that, you know, so we have to use past life regressions, you know, to see and clear this. You know, you can't just say, oh, dear God, you know, clear all my past life trauma <laughs> and sins and whatever digression. You know, this is not going to work. I mean, I try. You know, and I try again and again, you know, but, uh, you know, there's more to this than that. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, you may go into a past lifetime you know, and see, you know, um, when you go back, you know, that you were a princess, you know, that got married off to this nasty, you know, horny old guy, you know, and you actually, as this princess, this beautiful young princess, you know, you already had a love. You know, that's somebody you loved, you know, but um, due to business and political arrangements, you know, you were married off to this guy and, you know, had horrible nights, you know, till you uh, killed yourself, you know. And so, of course, you know, this person, you know, did not go into the light after this, you know, there's too much maybe shame and uh, depression and darkness with this one. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, <laughs> Just knowing that this happened, you know, um, you will still be affected by this overlay of, of emotions, etc. You know? But, um, you know, you can help it to transition into the light. You know? uh, there has to be forgiveness, you know, also uh, forgiveness of vows, spells, curses, you know, and cleaning of contracts. You know, and most likely also, you know, they have to be reunited with other lost loved ones. You know, or they would not leave, you know, without them into the light. You know, some of them want their babies, you know, or their nanny, you know, or their pet with them when they go into the heavens, and they will not leave. You know, many times military, honorable military men, you know, will not leave without their army also, you know, being brought into the light. Mm -hmm. So um, it's good, you know, to look after this. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, it's a, this, um, you know, clearing of the trauma and conditioning, I call that baggage, you know. And this stuff kind of bleeds over, you know, and into, you know, the descendants of these people and other incarnations, you know. And so clearing all this stuff, you know, that's a good past life regression. <laughs> Not just knowing, oh, yeah, I was a queen, you know. And, uh, you know, generally queens, you know, they get poisoned, they get cursed, there's a lot of envy and jealousy, you know, especially when the kingdom gets conquered. You know, there are many times that, that was not an easy thing. And, um, 
you know. And so, for some of you, you know, past lifetimes, you know, accessing them are easy. You know, I've seen people that can do it with their eyes open, you know, and they can see it like what they had, like their last dinner. And for some people, you know, it's very quite difficult. You know, like remembering, you know, what you did in summer, you know, 10 years ago. Um, so, uh, but finding out, you know, what happened, you know, can affect like key issues like love, money, health, or spiritual career, you know, a lot. All right. Now let's have some quick fixes, you know, everybody likes to have a quick fix, you know, a way out, you know, myself included. And so let's just go through the list. You know, I mean, it's not that these quick fixes will cure, you know, um, your depression, but it will help. You know, just see what resonates with you and then do it. You know, every little bit, you know, helps. So first of all, make sure, you know, you brush your teeth. You know? And um, if you feel depressed, you know, sometimes just taking a shower or taking a nice hot bath, you know, will clear the dark chi you know, and um, snap you out, you know, especially when you have Epsom salt you know, in your bath water. And, you know, if possible, have fresh clothing then after the bath. Because dark chi also, the mood gets stuck in the clothing. And if possible, you know, um, get sunlight. You know, if it's 20 minutes of sun in the morning, you know, and just smiling, um, that will help a lot. Or take vitamin D3. You know, and uh, take a lot, you know, um, I would say. I'm not a doctor, um, uh, but, you know, educate yourself. But uh, D3, you know, helps with depression a lot. And it's also good for your immune system, you know, for the AWI body. And, you know, again, go into nature. You know, nature is very, very balancing. It's further away from all this disrupt and disruptive electromagnetic energies, you know, energies from other people. If you don't have much energy, you know, to hike, yeah, just find a nice spot, you know, where you feel comfortable, where nobody stares at you, you know. <laughs> and, you know, maybe a nice tree, you know, get yourself a little blanket or a trash bag, you know, and sit down, you know, and smile, you know, and, and breathe and see what happens. You know, be depressed in nature, you know, see how long that will take. It helped me, you know, when I was young. It was always a go-to. Anyhow, um, you know, if you're wondering, you know, which places are best, you know, well, there is, you know, where water is. You know, water is an emotional balancer. You know, whether it's a bath, a swimming pool, you know, whether you're at a sea, you know, or a river or a lake. You know, they're all you know, um, balance your emotions, you know, just hanging out there <laughs> will help, you know, and, and then of course also waterfalls, you know, so wherever there is, you know, this meeting of the elements of air and water, there is a higher ionization, you know, which will again give you higher energy level, you know, there is a lot more chi in those areas, mm -hmm. that's why people do holidays there, right? The, mm -hmm. And, um, well, if you can, you know, go on top of a mountain, you know, even if you drive up there, or on top of, a, you know, a, a skyscraper. You know, there is um, always a chi upflow on top, you know, and um, so you get elevated there. You know, it kind of flushes you out. It's like a reverse shower, <laughs> you know, the upflowing chi from the earth, you know, purifies your force field from whatever dark chi has accumulated. Mm -hmm. Or just go outside. You know, sometimes just being outside, you know, where not the thought forms, you know, of your maybe depressed roommates or there, you know, or your own, you know, dark thought forms, you know, and bodily orders are just all piled up. Just being outside, you know, may be a lot better for you than being inside and they do, you know, a lot. Of course, you know, I already said deep breathing. You know, shallow breathing is um, done by people that are depressed, you know, low life force. So, you know, deep breathing uh, definitely helps. You know, very difficult <laughs> to be depressed, you know, when you breathe 
deeply. If you, you know, want to jack it up, you know, a notch, start grounding. You know, just start um, pulling, you know, the chi from one leg, you know, into your body. And when that is open, the other and then the root chakra. You know, I have videos on it. You know, do really good grounding. You know, within five minutes, you can feel a lot better. You know, and then once you're grounded, you know, your energy, you know, your physical body gets more energized. And then, only then, you know, you can start stretching. You know, stretching your spine, you know, stretching, you know, wherever, you know, the, you're kicked, you know, wherever, you know, something is wrong, you know, you stretch it out and, um, you know, you can call it yoga, <laughs> um, you know, but uh, this will help a lot. You know, I mean, uh, many times, you know, you have a lot of tension in your body and it just hurts, but you're not aware of it. And once you start stretching, you have this. Ah, you know, of course, you can also do self-massage, you know, your feet, your arms, your face, you know, a lot of your parts of your body you can massage. I have a video on it. Mm -hmm. So once you have done your yoga and you have more energy and you want to jack it up a notch, you know, do breath of fire. You know, this will definitely um, jack you up. <laughs> I have a video on it, but it kind of sounds like this. <laughs> Smile, do breath of fire. You know, it's probably going to be you know, good. And more shortcuts. You know, um, the food. Um, you know, you want to have food that energizes you. So, spicy food. I'm not saying salty food. Spicy food. You know, like with ginger, you know, cayenne. You know, and other stimulating um, spices. You know, um, will also increase your life force. That's why people in the third world like it. <laughs> and um, surely, you know, do not eat the food, you know, that has been prepared by somebody that's angry or depressed. You know, unless you bless this food, you know, till it glows in the dark. You know, very, very important. When I had to go to a restaurant, you know, and I found one, you know, they were Chinese cooks, they were very happy and healthy looking. That's why I ate, <laughs> you know, and they had good food. Mm -hmm. And um, another thing, you know, to snap you out of depression, you know, can be coffee. So I'm not pushing speed here. <laughs> You know, but uh, I have to say, you know, once I was, you know, a little depressed, like, uh, uh, you know, didn't want to do anything. I took like one 200 milligram caffeine pill. And after 15 minutes, I noticed I was dancing, you know, in the bathroom. You know, I have a big stereo system there. So I was dancing, you know, so just the energy level, you know, took me, you know, kicking up the energy, you know, um, gave me the energy to have fun and definitely dancing, you know, is one of the funnest, you know, exercises you can do, you know, makes your inner child happy, makes your inner teen happy, makes your physical body happy, mm -hmm. definitely good. And, well, um, against sn dancing, snapping out of depression, play your bestest mood, sorry, play your bestest music. You know, there is music that really jacks you up. <laughs> you know, that brings some good memories, you know, that, you know, makes you do a fertility dance, whatever. You know, use this, maybe have caffeine, you know, and dance, you know. And even better, you know, um, you put on your favorite clothes, you know, the, the shirt, you know, or the pants, you know, that make you feel like a thousand bucks, that make you look like a thousand bucks. Well, you know, put it on. You know, it will make you feel better, you know. So there's so many things that you can use for astral and room clearing. You know, there is a smudge or incense, but there are also crystal balls, tuning forks, and gongs, conch shell. Um, I like to clear all the objects in my space um, with the uh, divine symbol. I have a video on it. Very, very, very potent. I use it all the time. And uh, sometimes... You know, after a hard day, um, 
you know, um, just laughing is the best medicine. So, you know, um, I, there is, I mean, so much free stand-up available on the internet. You know, some of the stuff is really high quality, witty, philosophical. Um, so, you know, um, that puts me um, in a good mood, generally guaranteed. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, if you're really um, you know, in a bind, you can also, you know, try tapping, you know, emotional freedom technique. Uh, you know, EFT, it is called, um, you know, it will um, not go to the root cause of your issues, but it will, you know, give, you know, relief. You know, so um, <laughs> we all need that quick fix sometime. And, you know, if you want to investigate, you know, um, the reason for your depression, you know, you can definitely use the pendulum or use uh, kinesiology. You know, or just use your body response, like energy upflow, you know, downflow, like I like to use. Um, and also check, you know, for ghosts, you know, and check for dark portals, you know, in your living quarters or in your own body. Mm -hmm. I would also check for negative ley lines under your bed or where you're working. You know, um, that can drain your energy. You know, and then you have no life force, you know, and then you are uh, depressed. <laughs> you know, and uh, definitely, you know, get, get a smudge, you know, away, you know, from electronic noise, you know, computers. I mean, I'm surrounded here with stuff. <laughs> Monitors, speakers, cameras, you know, the microphones, you know, the electric lights. So, um, but, you know, if at night at least, you know, keep your iPhone or your phone, you know, at least nine feet, you know, away from you. And um, do some research, you know, on um, the effect of cell phones on cell division. You, know, you, you will thank me when you do so. And uh, if possible, you know, use ionizer technologies, you know, that put ions, you know, into your... Uh, into your work environment and your sleep environment, you know, and uh, which will also help. And if you like me, um, you know, on the computer, much of the time, you know, have um, grounding mats, you know, which will also uplift your life force, you know, through a grounding. And I'll definitely also remove any dark iconography and do something like, you know, posters for monsters and stuff like this, you know, and skulls and stuff like this, you know, from your environment. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you know, we want to, as a solution, you know, tap into, you know, our higher vibrational mind, you know. We want to tap into the power of, you know, of the higher aspects, you know, of our being, you know, the divine aspects, you know, and we will be doing this, you know, in this following guided meditation. And first of all, let me say, you know, use this meditation as supplemental, you know, to other therapies, right? I mean, talk to your doctor if you are depressed, you know, or to your psychologist, you know, or to your priest, you know. If you have suicidal thoughts, you know, I mean, get help, you know, call the suicide hotline, you know. They may hook you up with somebody that can help you, you know. I mean, there's always, you know, a way out, you know. Even if you if you don't see it, you know, life keeps on moving on. You know, it just keeps keeps on moving on. You know, just hang in there. You know, ask for help. You know, from source and from other people. You know, when I ask upstairs, you know, just hang in there. You know, life keeps going on. You know, you may not see. You know what's happening. Right? All right, so um, this being said, you know, this is, of course, you know, a shotgun approach. You know, um, you're not honing in on specific issues in your life, you know, and hunting them down. You know, but it will help you, you know, to see, you know, different levels, you know, of the things that pull you down. You know, and of course, it also, you know, depends on your abilities. But there's one good thing, you know, it's free. And, you know, people actually pay a lot of money for courses like this. All right, so please, um, you know, um, you can, um, if you want, you know, you can have this thing running at night mm -hmm, on your computer. Um, you know, you can loop it um, just by these uh, few mouse clicks. Mm -hmm. 
But uh, please, you know, give me a thumbs up, you know, and leave some comments, you know, of how you responded, you know, and reward my work here. If you haven't, you know, subscribed yet, do so and ring the bell so you get notified. Mm -hmm. And before we go under, you know, I'm definitely no driving. Absolutely no driving. Mm -hmm. You're going to be so spaced out. Now close your eyes. Just pay attention to all the tension you're having around your eyes. And your mouth. And your jaw. And of course let go of it. A deep breath. Just let go of it. Mm -hmm. and smile. And we asked absolute source and all the beings of love and light that are approved by our own high self to please make sure that everything that happens in and from this meditation here is going to be for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. We want to be completely safe and secure and we like to have all the help we can get to integrate this transformation you know, really beautifully into our life. We also ask for the love of Absolute Source to you know, surround us and dissolve any resistances that are there towards perceiving the love of Source. Make sure in your mind, you know, that you agree every time with this. It's your life. It's your life. It's your life. You have free will. But you can align with this will you, you want to. I'm not your daddy. I'm not your guru. And now smile and with the inhale, you know, imagine pulling in the love of the earth goddess into your whole body and then with a deep exhale you know send your love your energy your chi through your legs into the earth just go back forth deep inhaling and deep exhale to the earth smile Mm -hmm. And, you know, get into the rhythm of, let's say, the ocean wave at the beach. Back and forth, in and out. And smile with the attitude of a baby kind of nursing from the mother. And we ask the spirit guides and Mother Earth to please clear any blocks and resistances that are there between us and her. So this could be old trauma and breaking legs in this and past lifetimes or spells and curses mm -hmm. or dark technologies whatever it is we like to have cleared now as much as possible also any parasites for instance or cords or dark portals mm -hmm. If it can be cleared without us having to look at this, we like to have this cleared now for the highest good, of course. Amen. And keep on smiling and breathing back and forth through your legs, this love with the Earth Mother. And if you want now, you can also add you know, and start breathing also through the root chakra. And we ask that also any cords and blocks be cleared there. Um, um, um. And just focus on breathing through your tracker. If you want, you can visualize like a fire. You know, like from a jet engine at your root. Mm -hmm. That burns off any unwanted cords from ex-lovers or from predators. Energetic predators, I mean. Mm -hmm. But smile, you know, and then breathe back and forth, you know, through your root chakra, you know, purifying it. 
still you feel, you know, the energy kind of shooting up your spine, you know, then keep polishing, you know, this chi up and down, you know, the nervous fiber of your spine all the way into the, pull the love over your spine into your brain. And on the exhale, send your love from the brain over the spine into the earth. Back and forth. Well, and that will kind of scrub the energy pathways, which is really good for your chi body, for yourself. Good. Now smile even more and put your tongue to the palate. And we connect now to Milky Way Galaxy, you know, the mother of billions of solar system. This being is super smart and benevolent. And just um, imagine inhaling, you know, the love of Milky Way Galaxy into your whole body. And then on the exhale, send your love up to Milky Way Galaxy, go back and forth just in the same way as you did with the Earth Goddess. And we ask the Spirit Guides and the Angels of Love and Light to clear any blocks in our celestial chakras. You know, any blocks or samskaras, you know, coming from trauma or black magic or dark technologies, or spells, or curses, or dark tech, um, alien technologies, or frequency screens, and uh, portals, whatever it is, dark crowns, crown or reverse crowns, crown of thorns, rings, skull caps, plates, spikes, you know, all kinds of devices we use. We like to have those cleared now as much as possible. Um, 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 deep breathing, yes, and we thank you and we love you for this. Mm -hmm. Please open our love up mm -hmm. and clear any resistances to love that you can find in us as much as possible now. Um, and also please clear any dark thought forms from other people that they have sent to us, whether it's traffic anger or racism or sexism or their jealousy and envy or gossip or backstabbing or black magic. You know, or just negative, jealous thoughts, whatever it is, please clear as much as possible now. Uh, uh, um, make sure you nod your head. And wherever our energies are still with other people, or in, um, let's say, places, or endeavors, and not being used for the highest good, we like to have those energies purified and returned to us so we can use them for the highest good. Um, 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 smile, mm -hmm. and if you feel the energies coming in, you should be around now. I'll start inhaling them. Appreciate them. Smile. Appreciate them. Say thank you. I love you. Think it. Think it. Think it. Be telepathic, learn telepathy, just to think things nice and clear. Ah, okay. And now we ask that we become aware of you know our more divine aspects. And we invite this to become prominent in our body now. Um, and you might feel a little uplifted and you know if you feel like it adjust your body or let this higher consciousness adjust your body and now let's um do the yes and no inductions so um to communicate on the most basic level you know, let us say a yes would be a flow of energy from the heart to the head, like an up feeling, like this here now. And 
button as your high self to produce one now. And then very good. And a no would be a downflow of energy. You know, from the heart towards the feet, kind of a downer, and then it would feel like this. Amen. And ask your high self to give you a clear and strong no now. Amen. And of course, reality is not just uh, digital. This means yes or no or black and white. You know, there are of course many gradations. So just pay attention. You know, so you may be able to discriminate you know, between a strong yes and a lukewarm one. You know, and a strong and a weak no. Right? Got it? And of course, you know, um, reasons you know for depressions are accumulative. You, know, you may be um, vitamin and sunshine deficient. You know, or you may be a hoarder, or you know you have a bad partner. You know, um, and so it's mostly due to past life issues and on and on and on. So things are overlapping, of course. So let us you know go through the list here and just pay attention. Right? So, reasons for your depression. First of all, um, is your depression due to vitamin D3 deficiency? Yes or no? Is your depression due to a lack of sunshine? Yes or no? Is your depression due to general vitamin deficiency? Yes or no? Is your depression due to certain mineral deficiencies? Yes or no? Is your depression due to nutritional deficiencies? You know, maybe not uh, enough animal protein or any protein, you know, or whatever it is. Yes or no? Is your depression mostly due to bad living conditions, yes or no? Would it help to change your living conditions, move somewhere else, yes or no? depressed because you're a hoarder or you have um, items you know with dark energies in your place of living yes or no and let's ask for the truth you know is your depression majorly due because you have a bad Char, like a prison guard, for instance. Yes or no? How about a roommate that you're having or a partner? Is this a big influence on your depression? Yes or no?
Are you depressed because of not having the relationship that you want? Yes or no? Are you depressed because you are together with an incompatible partner? Yes. The depression relationship issues, are they coming mostly from this lifetime? Yes or no? The depressing relationship issues, do they come mostly from past lifetime? Yes. These depressing relationship issues, do they come mostly from curses? Yes or no? These depressing relationship issues, do they come mostly from karma? Yes. This depressing outlook on life, does it come from blunt materialism mostly? Yes or no? The depression that you are experiencing, does it mostly come due to nihilism, a lack of ideals or good goals in your life? Yes or no? The depression that you are experiencing is it strongly influenced by a lack of mental hygiene? Yes or no? Is your depression mostly affected by spirals of negative thinking? Yes or no? Is your depression strongly affected by lack of emotional hygiene? You know, you might be running horror movies in the background on TV at night. No? <laughs> Or, um, you know, do not do forgiveness and whatever, you know. Um, so, lack of emotional hygiene, yes or no. Are you strongly affected in your depression by thoughts of self-pity, yes or no? Is your depression strongly affected through your pondering on loss and regrets? Yes or no? Is your depression strongly affected by fear of the future? Yes or no?
Is your depression strongly fueled by thoughts of envy and jealousy? Yes or no? Is your depression strongly affected by the emotions that your mother had while she was pregnant with you? You know, some mothers were quite desperate in those times. Yes or no? And we ask the angels and beings of love and light to please assist this mother now. Go back in time and assist the Amen. and assist the baby. And if you want to do a big meditation, you know, um, stop now and project love you know, onto the baby in the womb. Or you can do this at homework. Let's just move on. Ah, yeah, just charge up your heart, you know, with love again, and smile. Let's ask, is your depression strongly affected by your birth trauma? Yes or no? Also here we ask our ancestors, our power incarnations that can help and our spirit guides and souls to clear as much from the birth trauma that's still with us as possible. Um, um, if you want to do a private meditation, definitely later on, you know, imagining assisting the baby during the birth and the mother by projecting love and light, you know, onto her. Um, are you still um, experiencing depression because you were not breastfed? Yes or no? Are you still experiencing depression because you were weaned too early? You know, and breastfeeding was a loving connection with the mother, and then being weaned is kind of an abandonment, losing your major source of love and comfort. So, were you weaned too early, yes or no? And let's hunt down the pain. You know, it's a major cause for your depression. You know, dark stuff, trauma that happened to you during your childhood. Yes or no? And what is the most repressed incident from your childhood that you Myself would like you to release and heal now. Amen. Is your depression majorly affected by stuff that happened to you as a teen? Yes or no? And we definitely give permission to our spirit guides to assist this gene now with love and light and guidance. Amen. And let's get go through some stuff, you know, that happened kind of in family life, you know, that I see again and again in my work with clients. It's a major part of your depression due to picking up the trauma, you know, that um, from your fighting parents. 
Maybe they went through divorce, you know, didn't get along, you know, struggling young couple, you know, fight a lot. You know, did you pick up a lot of that energy now? Um, and we definitely give permission <laughs> to our high self and our spirit guides, you know, to clear this as much as possible. No reason to keep carrying that stuff around. Um, um, and another, of course, uh, you know, uh, reason for depression is the broken heart. You know? So, are you strongly affected you know, from broken heart? You know, from disappointed love or rejection? Yes or no? And is most of that karma from this lifetime? Yes or no? Or is most of this pain from past lifetimes? Yes or no? Is your depression caused by traumatic accidents in this lifetime? Maybe you were dropped, you know, change the diapers, have no idea what happened, but it affects you strongly. So, mm, accidents in this lifetimes, yes or no? And are you majorly depressed because of accidents happened in past lifetimes, yes or no? And are you strongly affected from past lifetimes, and you know, where there was starvation? Yes or no? Are you strongly affected from bleed over, from depression, from slavery, from you or your ancestors? Yes or no? Are you depressed because you got neglected, you know, abandoned in a lifetime, yes or no? And of course we have special meditations for this, for most of these we have meditations. And are you strongly affected um, in your depression due to sexual abuse, conscious or unconscious, yes or no? Or are you mostly depressed due to emotional abuse, yes or no? Now another, you know, reason for depression is just, you know, dark chi in you, and um, this could be, you know, it's called junk picked up from other people. Hmm? So let's ask, um, did you pick up a lot of junk from other people, yes or no? Hmm? And mostly when? And so, um, you know, dark chi um, can definitely be picked up from places, depending on circumstances. Let us go through some of them. Did you pick up a lot of dark chi, you know, on the highways, yes or no? Did you pick up a lot of junk, 
and ghosts in visiting concentration camps, battlegrounds or hospitals, yes or no? And a lot of people, you know, that visited those places, their life changed after this. If this happened to you, you know, come to me, I might be able to help you. And clear any ghosts that have attached to you. Yeah. All right. Is there a lot of depression because you're not forgiven yourself? Yes or no? Is much of this unforgiveness, you know, unconscious because it happened in past lifetimes? Yes or no? Is much of your depression due to not forgiving others, you know, thereby hanging on to the pain, yes or no? Or is you know, much of this pain still with you because you did not ask for forgiveness, yes or no? So now we ask the spirit guides and the angels of love and light, you know, to clear as much as possible, you know, any junk, dark chi, you know, we picked up from others or that we created ourselves, you know, through unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. Also, you know, any entities we picked up, you know, at hospitals, battlegrounds, concentration camps, you know, mm -hmm. uh, highways, you know, people die there too all the time. You know, please escort them you know, into the light, you know, through the Arcturian love feeling and to send temples if possible. Amen, amen, amen. All right, so, you know, another reason for depression, of course, is lack of grounding because, you know, we do not sewer our negative emotions or discharge them into the earth. Mm -hmm. And of course, we do not also get any new fresh energy from the earth for our physical bodies, so we are like in low energy when you're not properly grounded. Mm -hmm. So um, let's uh, start with the foot trackers. Mm -hmm. um, are your foot trackers um, um, weak? Uh, yes or no? Strong, yes or no? How about your root chakra? Is your root chakra weak? Yes or no? Is your root chakra strong? Yes or no? Alright, so if you're still here, let's go to the woo woo side. You know, the far out stuff. You know, the metaphysical stuff. <laughs> let's ask them um, are there any dark portals in your body that, um, you know, affect you with darkness causing depression? Yes or no? you like to have those closed now. Amen. Amen. Are there any dark portals in your house or in your apartment, you know, that um, fill your place of living, you know, with dark entities, identities, yes or no? And we ask that, you know, those entities please be escorted back to where they're supposed to be and close those portals pretty please. Um, 
Another reason for low energy is you have uh, negative ley lines, means earth energy lines, you know, inflowing ones under your bed or at your workplace, you know, where you spend a lot of your time, you know, which will drain your energy and causes low energy. Mm -hmm. Is your depression or low energy due to negative ley lines? Yes or no? Is your depression due to curses you know, that you earned in this lifetime? You know, there is a simple curses to never be happy and stuff like that. You know, is this due to curses majorly from this lifetime? Yes or no? And how much of your depression and unhappiness is due to curses that you earned in past lifetimes? And are there any ancestral curses affecting you, you know, that make you depressed, yes or no? And of course, we ask the angels and absolute souls in their grace, you know, to have as much as possible of those cleared. Um, um, make sure you agree with your life. And smile, breathe, fill your heart with love. And let's ask, you know, your... Um, do you have any entity attachments, you know, that are depressed, like human hitchhikers, you know, that uh, maybe committed suicide? You know? Yes or no? Or um, are you depressed because you have parasitic attachments, you know, non-human hitchhikers? You know, and vampiric parasites, you know, that are getting your vibration down, that draining you. Um, and those attack you, you know, yes or no? Are you depressed because of the effects of tormented past lifetimes, you know, of yourself, like lost or banished souls? Yes or no? Is there a major part of your depression because you got burned or tortured as a witch or a heretic? You know, or somebody else that danced out of line, yes or no. Are you being depressed because you got sacrificed in a past lifetime as a baby or as a child? or as an adolescent, or as an adult, yes or no? Are you majorly depressed because you got traumatized in covert experiments or operations, where you afterwards got mind wiped? You know, but the trauma is still there, yes or no? Are you depressed because you got traumatized in alien abduction scenarios? You know, where you got mind wiped? But the trauma is still there, you know, for instance, being operated on without anesthesia, yes or no?
Are you depressed as the bleed over from past lifetimes? Where you were doing black magic, you know, and were doing a service to self agenda? Yes or no? Are you depressed as the bleed over, you know, from past lifetimes? From your ancestors? You know, where they were pursuing black magic and a service to self agenda? Yes or no? And of course we asked for help on this. Amen. 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 And um, let's just ask your high self, you know, to show you, you know, the worst pain that you can handle and release now. You know, just ask for it, get ready. One, two, three. And we ask source to spit guides and your high self to assist you in releasing this. Okay, so let's go for it. Pay attention. This is very important. Smile, you know, um, run as much love as you can. You know, my clients know how to run source love. You know, run source love as much as you can. And we call in all aspects from us and our ancestors that are stuck in the lower astrals due to depression, you know, or causing us depression. Um, and we asked for our own incarnations in that of our ancestors and our spirit guides of the highest orders that can assist in uplifting any aspects of us and any attachments unto us in them. Mm -hmm. Please bring these st stuck beings you know, that are stuck due to depression whether they're spirits or ghosts, you know, of us, our bloodlines and ancestors, to the Arcturian love feeling and to sentient temples there. Amen. Make sure you agree and smile, pump love. Mm -hmm. And there, please reunite them with lost loved ones that are also still stuck on the astral planes, like lost baby spirits. You know, war bodies, you know, sweethearts, grannies, and pets even. Mm -hmm. We unite them with those, you know, many ghosts will not leave without their loved ones. And also liberate any discarnates that got stuck in the false light heavens, you know, due to depression. Amen, amen, amen. Let's get more into details here. Please show them the higher as well as the hidden aspects of their incarnations. What was karma? What was volunteered for to learn a lesson? And what was sabotaged by the dark? And then help them with forgiveness through this insight. And once they forgive and ask for forgiveness, we ask Absolute Source and our Spirit Guides, the Angels too, of Love and Light, to please make hidden stuff visible. Remove any cloaking spells and technologies, any camouflage, make visible, expose what is trickery, misdirection or hidden agenda, or legalize fine print. You know? and have all offenders brought to divine justice. Clear any entanglement that still binds them, like, you know, um, trauma leading to depression. You know, vows about depression. Curses leading to depression. Bindings leading to depression. Love spells or technologies causing depression. Glamours that are creating depression. Deals and contracts causing depression. Promises causing depression. 
handle magic causing depression, black magic causing depression, any form of runes, bombs, booby traps, claws, hooks, cords, chains, shackles, crown of thorns, crucifixion implants, and everything else that was not mentioned but is causing depression and needs to leave our space and time. Please do so now. Amen. Amen. Make sure you agree here. Very strongly. And you probably feel an upflow of energy now. And while this is going on, please also remove any hitchhiking entities that have attached to us causing depression. You know, and if there any um, attachment onto them, you know, clear those two. And if there's attachment to them, clear those two. You know where to send them. Please do so now. Amen. And please also return any valuable energies, you know, that got stolen from us, you know, causing us depression, you know, or that we squandered away, you know, doing depression. You know, purify them and then reintegrate them with us for our highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Ah. Mm -hmm. And now, um, just follow along with me, you know, smile and, and send love with your breath and in your mind, you know, um, just repeat, you know, with me and uh, kind of align. Thank you. 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 So we give no higher power permission to help us tackle issues you know, and see the positive aspects you know, in our challenges. Also, please fill us with love and healing energies. You know, um, and also heal our inner child in our past incarnations. Also, you know, I give healings to our father, mother, and ancestor spirits. Mm -hmm. And help us, you know, to find good purpose, you know, for our life. Mm -hmm. Align with our Dharma, you know, our divine incarnation and heaven through the Amen, Amen, Amen. And we thank all those beings that came and helped, and if anything dark or inappropriate that needs to leave, you know, came to us, or is still with us, or came through us, please clear this now. Um, and return any soul fragments that can reunite with us now, that were trapped or lost, and we reunite them with us for the highest good of us. Amen. Mm -hmm. And then update us to the latest and best divine blueprint that it is allowed by our high self. And if you wanted to go sleep, you know, you will have a deep restful sleep, you know, clearing even more, you know, things that make you depressed, healing those aspects in your dreams. 
and um, otherwise if you have a day in front of you um, one two three you're fully grounded now back in vacant day energy um, welcome back my friends i hope you had a great time i hope you feel a lot lighter so drink a lot of water, you know, share your experiences with us. You know, this is a community of people. Mm -hmm. If you responded well, you know, give me a thumbs up. Um, subscribe if you can, recommend to other friends, you know, if you can afford, um, book a session with me. You know, it's very affordable and definitely it's going to fast track you. Mm -hmm. Again, I, I love you a long time. Namaste.